Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to World of Tanks console edition. Today we are looking at a nice little round in my T3488. This is on PlayStation 4 by the way. And this is with a crew with no skills, no sixth sense, nada. So this was from a few weeks ago or a couple of weeks ago I guess. This was when I was grinding out the Motherland Ops on PlayStation and I was trying to grind up some new crews. I think this was my, I think it was a crew on my VK36H maybe. I had um, had my good crew had moved on to my Tiger. And then I'd put a new crew in the VK36H because I love that tank and I wanted to keep using it. So I wanted to get a new crew trained up in that, which needs, obviously needs six cents and a few other bits and bobs. So this was a brand new crew pretty much. Training up, oh hello, T50, nice easy target, tier four. And a little bit unlucky with the follow-up shot. So yeah, so this is the the 3488. It's a it's a rare premium on the console edition. I don't believe it's on PC. It's a Soviet tier six medium, but it also allows you to train German and Soviet crews. So it's kind of interesting. It's um it's basically a T34 with an 88 millimeter gun on top. It's very nice. It handles itself very well, it gets a nice little XP boost from battles and it's very very hard to get hold of. It's only been on sale a couple of times throughout the lifetime of the console edition so it's one definitely one of the most sought after tanks in the game. It's generally considered uh, pretty powerful, little, maybe touch OP, I don't know if I'd, if I'd agree that it's OP, I don't know. The gun is pretty devastating at this tier to be fair, it's pretty pretty brutal gun but I don't think it really compares to um, to say the Ram Panzer, the Panzer 5.4 at tier 5. I think that is, is way more OP at its tier than this. Mostly thanks just to the ridiculous amount of hit points that tank gets. It just seems to make no sense. But anyway, but this is a very, very good tank. It does job very nicely, especially um, especially good because it can train both crews as well from two nations, so very, very handy. So anyway, here we are. We've pushed forward. We've got pretty nice matchmaking this time. It's essentially a tier 6 game. There is, I think there's one tier 7 on each team. I think they've got a Tiger. We've got some other dude driving some other tier 7. We're just trying to get some shots into the SU-100 here. I'm in a very aggressive position here, but you know, it's a low tier game. We're just kind of mucking about, getting XP for Motherland. And I'm just kind of having a bit of fun. We get the second shot in. He tries to run away. Just managed to catch that. And that was a big shot there. Big big moment and also that guy just getting shot up on my side there by my teammate if um, if he hadn't got hit there then this um, he probably would have come and shot me in the side and this would have been a whole different battle here we go got a t34 managed to get a shot on me unfortunately you see it's a very nice amount of alpha damage on that um, for a tier 6 gun which is essentially the same damage I'm doing at the moment in my... Now I've unlocked the Tiger 2 on PS4 and I'm doing the stock Tiger 2 grind. It's pretty much packing about the same... Uh, it's about the same alpha damage as that. So um, so yeah, it does does the job very nicely at Tier 6. So here we go. We've actually got through the, the teams pretty quick. And you might think this is going to be over very, very quickly. But it does... Um, has a bit of a twist. And this battle actually gets pretty interesting. So you can see we're on... What are we on? Three kills very low health 172 health teams kind of spread out down this flank and not many of the reds are spotted well there's one though there's a td down the middle su85 looking straight at me <laughs> the team manages to miss one shot so at this stage i'm sort of i'm trying to find the balance between getting my shots off and dodging around to make him fluff shots he might be able to one shot me no he doesn't he puts me on 10 health though you damage your ammo and we just take him down so so Four kills, ten health, five v five. Let's see what we can do. Now, as always with World of Tanks, I'm always on the lookout for for defending the base. You find when you're playing with with randoms, people often aren't too too good at defending the base. People don't watch out for it quick enough. They wait till they hear the buzzer or the buzzer is too late but I try and keep an eye on it and as soon as I realized we were um there was a risk of us getting capped I decided to move back and here we go we'll try some base defense we've got an A43 managed to get a tracking shot on him which will reset the cap just fine and then we take him out so that's one less person capping but they do still have three people capping there we go nice shot into the KV-1 to the side of him 
And number two, two people shot in the cap circle. So two of them left, managed to land a nice shot into the side of that guy while he's unspotted. He may still be tracked, but so at this stage, a few things going through my head, realizing that they can cap very quickly with two of them, 20 seconds. My heavy on the left there might not be able to spot these guys. I might have to spot them myself. And also realizing that their tiger is still, I think, on full health and is kind of trundling around just on the other side of the ridge from me. Bit unlucky there. So I've switched to Prem shells here because I don't want them to cap. It's critical that I manage to land damaging shots at the moment. Otherwise we could lose this battle and it be over. Although the cap is looking a bit more healthy now. And there we go, looking looking a lot nicer now. They've only got one there. And it is 3v2, so, so not too bad. I'm not sure where that one went. I think maybe that wreck of the other tank might be sitting in the way and the um, and that was blocking it potentially. And that, and that next shot went a bit low. Right, so now, this guy's tracked. We've got seven normal shells. We've got four HE shells. We're on seven kills. We've got a full health enemy tiger coming over through the village behind us and no sixth sense. So at this stage, I'm expecting any second to just get annihilated by one shot from that tiger without even realizing he's been spotted. He's got up on the ridge now. He's very close by. So my thinking was push in here, try and get behind this guy, get him out, and then hopelessly dive into cover and hope the tiger doesn't hit me. That's kind of my plan right now. We'll see how that goes. We get right around behind him, put one into his hatch. Bit unnecessary because you can just shoot him in the butt when you're behind, but um, but it's fine. Kind of panicking here. <laughs> panicking because I think that tiger's going to shoot me any second and I won't even know that I've been spotted. But there we go. There's kill number eight for the Radley Walters. There we go, there's the Tiger. Not quite on full health, but on a, a pretty sizable amount of health. So we go, we haven't got many shells left, but we've got some nice side shots here. And, ah, oh, so I think, it's hard to say, I think I just didn't lead that shot enough. I think I'm panicking a bit here. That one definitely didn't lead enough. But unfortunately, because of the, uh, I've got all these bushes in the way, it's a little bit, it was a little bit hard to read how fast it's traveling. And I think in the panic situation, kind of fluffed it a little bit. Also, because I was running out of ammo, um, I think, <laughs> I was getting a little bit nervous, but thankfully KV3 on our team here is actually doing a fair amount of damage to him. We've got tier 7 versus tier 7, and the tiger seems to be completely ignoring me, although I wasn't spotted, so he didn't have much choice. And thankfully, Linas in the KV3 manages to take him down. Thank you very much, teammate. So there you go, that's the end of that one. I really enjoyed that battle, so I thought um, you guys might enjoy watching that too. I like the fact that we were on 10, 10 health and then went on to do pretty much all of my damage kills from that point, or at least most of it. We got a Mastery Ace Tanker, we got Radley Walters, we got Devastator obviously, we got Delanglade, which is one I haven't had for ages. I've had it on Xbox before, and there you go, that is for killing four enemies that are trying to cap your flag. And then obviously we got a Defender along with that as well. So really cool medal. I like to get those kind of weird medals that don't pop up very not very often. I know obviously everyone likes to get a Radley Walters or a Pools or a Devastator or whatever, but I like it when the medals pop up. And you're like, what? Well, I don't even know what that medal is. So, um, so yeah, that's cool. Very pleased with that. Three thousand damage, two thousand base XP. Very nice. That helps me well on my way to my motherland. Nice one, All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, my name is Ben. We are the Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.